Hi everyone, today I'm going to discuss the present value and compound discount. At the end of the discussion, you are expected to be able to, number one, compare the term discount as used in buy and sell and in borrowing and lending with simple interest and compound interest. Derive the formula for the present value of money. Sold for the compound discount in settlement of debt. Sold for the cash value of purchased item. And sold for the proceeds in selling a non-interest bearing and interest bearing note. Discount is very familiar to us because we often see this term when we buy items in department store. So in buy and sell, discount refers to the amount to be deducted from the regular price of an item. And it is determined using the formula, the discount rate times the regular price. And the amount you are going to pay for that discounted item will be equal to the regular price less the discount. In borrowing and lending money with simple interest, discount is also called an interest paid in advance and computed based on the future amount. We have the discount or the interest paid in advance is equal to the future amount times the discount rate times the time in years where the money will be used by the borrower. And the proceeds of the loan A is equal to the future value of the money less the discount or the interest paid in advance. In compound interest, to discount a future amount or the future value of a money would mean to find the present value on a day which is N periods before F is due. So we have already derived this formula for the future value of a money. F is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to N. We will be using the same formula to solve for the present value. And the compound is discount is computed as the future amount or the future value less the present value of the money. Let us now derive the present value of money in a compound interest. Let us use an illustrative problem as we derive the formula. Betty applied for a loan of an amount F from a lending agency due after T years at an interest rate R compounded N times in a year. What is the proceeds of the loan? So let us use a diagram. We have here the beginning period and after t years so betty has already determined how much she will be paying at the end of t years and that amount is f we know in our previous lesson that f is also determined using the formula p times or f is equal to p times 1 plus i raised to n and we know that after t years, n in here is the total number of periods or compounding periods. It is determined by multiplying the number of years, t, times m, which is the number of times the money is compounded in a year. And i, which is the period rate, is equal to the annual rate, interest rate, divided by the number of compounding period in one year. And so with this information, what is asked in here, what we're interested in here, is to determine the present value of this F. Okay, so from the formula, F is equal to P. The future value is equal to the present value times 1 plus the period rate raised to N. We can now easily solve for P, algebraically simplifying the equation we shall have P is equal to F all over 1 plus I raised to N. Or if we want to get rid of this denominator, then we can raise the whole quantity. So we shall have P is equal to F times 1 plus I raised to negative N. Where the quantity 1 plus I raised to negative N is also called the discount factor. So this is now the formula for the present value of a money 
whose amount after t years is equal to f. Here is a problem. Minda wanted to settle her debt of 27,500 due at the end of two years. If the settlement rate is 15% compounded semi-annually, how much should she pay to her lender? How much is the discount? Let us identify in here the given. So we have the future value for the future amount of the debt is 27,500 and it is due after two years. So the term is two years. The discount rate is 15% and since it is compounded semi-annually, then M is equal to 2. Okay, showing a diagram we have here, at the end of two years, the debt is has a value of 27,500. And what is asked in here is the present value if Minda will settle her debt now. Okay, so what is asked is the present value and the compound discount. Let us now have our computation. Using the formula for the present value, P is equal to F times the quantity 1 plus I raised to negative N. So let us identify the values of I, the period rate, is equal to 0.15 divided by 2 because it is compounded semi-annually. So the period rate is 0 0.075. N is equal to T times M. So for two years, and it is compounded semi-annually, we have two times two. There are a total of four compounding periods. Substituting now the values in this formula, P is equal to F times 1 plus I raised to negative N. That will give us now P, or the present value of this amount, 27,500 after two years, is equal to 20,592 and one centavo. And solving for the discount, I is equal to the future value minus the present value. We have 27,500 minus 20,592 and one centavo. The compound discount, therefore, is equal to 6,977 or 6,907 and 99 centavos. Here is another problem. Chester purchased a lot on a loan basis. He gives a down payment of 106,000 pesos and agreed to pay 850,000 pesos after six years. Find the cash value of the lot if money is worth 14% compounded monthly. Okay, so let us identify the given. So we are given the down payment is 106,000 pesos. And there is a balance wherein at the end of six years, the value of that balance will be 850,000 pesos. So we have in there the future amount of the balance after six years is 850,000 pesos. And the interest rate is 14%, and since it is compounded monthly, so M is equal to 12. What is asked in here is the cash value of the lot. So the cash value will then be equal to the down payment plus the present value of this future amount, which is 850,000 pesos. Okay, so we have... C is equal to the cash value is equal to the down payment plus the present value. So to solve for the present value, we use the formula P is equal to F times 1 plus I raised to negative N, where I, the, the period rate, is equal to the annual rate R over the number of conversion periods. So we have 0.14 divided by 12, and that is 7 over 600. N is the total number of conversion periods. So we have the total number of years times the number of conversion period per year, M. And so that gives us 6 times 12, or that is equal to 
72 conversion periods. So substituting now values in the formula, P is equal to 850,000 times the quantity 1 plus 7 over 600 raised to negative 72. The present value then of the balance is 368,742 pesos and 50 centavos. That means the cash value of the lot is equal to the down payment which is 106,000 pesos and the present value of the 850,000 pesos which is 368,742 and 50 centavos that gives us now the cash value of the lot is 474,742 pesos and 50 centavos. Okay. Here is another problem. Daryl owns a note worth 33,000 due in two years and six months. If he sells it now, how much should a buyer pay for the note with an interest of 4.5% compounded quarterly? So let us identify the given. So we're given that the, no, the note is worth 33,000 due in two years and six months. So there is no mention about interest. So this is a non-interest bearing note. And so therefore, the face value of the note is at the same time its maturity value. So if this note worth 33,000 pesos, which is due in two years and six months, if it is to be sold today, so you have the term of the discount is two years and six months, and we have the discount rate is 4.5%, and it is compounded quarterly, so M is equal to four. And we are asked up, what is the proceeds? So what's the proceeds of the note if it is sold two years and six months before its maturity date? So we make use of the formula, the proceeds of the note or the present value of the note is P is equal to F times 1 plus I raised to negative N. So we have I is R over M. R is 4.5%, so we have 0 0.045. It is compounded quarterly, so M is 4. We have 0 0.01125. And N, the total number of compounding periods, T times M, we have 2.5 years times 4. This is equal to 10 compounding periods. Substituting now the values in the formula, P is equal to 33,000 times 1 plus 0 0.01125 raised to negative 10. The present value of the note is 29,507 pesos and 24 centavos. Here is another problem. A note of 42,800 dated December 19, 2017 is due in six years with interest at 8% compounded semi-annually. On May 19, 2020, the holder sold it at a discount rate of 10% compounded monthly. What was the proceeds? Well, let us identify the event. The date of the note is December 19, 2017. Okay, and it is due in six years with an interest of 8% compounded semi-annually. So since the note bears an interest, so this is an interest-bearing note, that means this face value of the note will be at the same time the present value of the note. So the present value or the face value is equal to 42,800 pesos. And it is due in six years, so the term of the note is six years. The interest rate is 8% and it is compounded semi-annually, so N is equal to 2. And we are asked to find the proceeds of the note if it is sold on May 19, 2020. Okay, so in discounting the note, the discounting date is May 19, 2020, and the discount term 
will now be will now start from May 19, 2020 to the due date, which is six years after December 19, 2017, and that is due on. December 19, 2023. So when the note is sold on May 19, 2020, the discount term will be from May 19, 2020 to December 19, 2023. Okay, so from May 19, 2020 to December 19, 2023, that is equivalent to three years and seven months or 43 over 12 years. The discount rate is 10% and it is compounded monthly, so M is equal to 12. Let us start our computation with determining the value or the maturity value or the future value of the note. Using the formula, the maturity value is equal to the face value of the node times 1 plus i raised to n, where i, the period rate, is equal to the annual rate over the number of conversion in one year. So we have 0 0.08 divided by 2, that is i is equal to 0 0.04. And n, the total number of conversion, is equal to t is 6 years, and it is compounded semi-annually, so we have 6 times 2, we have 12, a total of 12 compounding periods for 6 years. So, substituting values, the maturity value of the note is 42,800 times 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to 12, that will give us an amount of 68,524 pesos and 18 centavos. So this is the value of the note after six years or on the due date, which is December 19, 2023. On discounting the note, we are required to find the proceeds of the note on the day it is sold. So we use the formula P, the proceeds or the value of the the value of the note on the day it is sold. We have P is equal to the maturity value times 1 plus I raised to negative 2, negative N, where the term of the discount will be from May 19, 2020, the date this is sold, and you have the maturity date, December 19, 2023. So this is a total of 3 years and 7 months, or we have 43 over 12 years. Then we have the periodic rate, or the period rate, which is equal to R over M. So on discounting the note, the rate is 10% and compounded monthly, so we have 1 over 120. Then the total number of conversion period from May 19, 2020 to December 19, 2023 is we have 43 over 12 years times it is compounded monthly, so times 12, or we have 43 periods. And so substituting now values, P is equal to 68,524.18 times 1 plus 1 over 120 raised to negative. 43 or the proceeds of the note on May 19, 2020 is 47,958 pesos and 60 centavos. We end up our discussion in here. I hope that this time you already have a clearer idea on how to determine the present value of money in a compound interest and how to determine the compound discount. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.